Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new here, then I hope you'll stick around because I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this super awesome Mandalorian cake. Now I know you guys must be getting excited because I am too for season two. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome because I cannot get enough of Baby Yoda and I'm sure you guys feel the same way too. There are so many amazing cakes of him all over the internet. I just love them, but there aren't many of the Mandalorian and it is called the Mandalorian so I thought we should show him some love too. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now let's get into it. So to achieve the shape of our Mandalorian helmet I'm going to be using three six inch layers of my favorite vanilla cake recipe and I'll drop that down in the description box below for anybody who wants to try it out. So we're going to start out by leveling off our layers and I'm going to be using a cake leveler because I'm not as good with a knife but if that's all you have that'll work fine too. So I'm just going to trim these down and we're going to be saving our cake scraps because I'm going to use it to build our cake up a little bit taller when I'm stacking and filling my layers. So once you finish leveling your layers, it's time to stack and fill them. And we're just going to be filling them using a basic vanilla American buttercream recipe. And I want it to be a slight shade of gray, so I'm going to add one drop of Americolor Super Black at a time until I achieve the shade of gray that I want. So I'm just going to add one little drop here and we're going to mix that up really well and then see if we need some more. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that shade of grey, that looks pretty good. So now we're just going to grab our turntable and our cake board and we're going to use a little bit of buttercream to attach our first layer of cake, then we're going to continue to stack and fill our layers, including our cake scraps on the very top. And you don't need a turntable for this next part, but it really makes icing your cake a lot easier. And if you really like the one that I'm using, you can find a link to that in the description box below. All right, so we finished stacking and filling our layers and we've built up our top and have a nice dome shape now, but we still have a little bit to carve off around the edges. But before I do that, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for about 10 or 15 minutes because carving a cold cake is much easier and less messy. <laughs> All right, our cake is chilled, so that means it's ready to carve. So I'm just gonna take a small serrated knife and we're gonna start by carving off just a tiny little bit around the edge here because we have a little bit of a cake lip that would show through when I put the fondant on. And also, the Mandalorian's helmet has a bit of an angle to it at the bottom. So if it was to sit on a table, it would lean ever so slightly. So I'm gonna carve a little bit off of the front of the cake to make it look like it has that little bit of a lean to it. And once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna carve out the two grooves that run down the front of the mask. So I'm happy with how that looks. It has a nice lean to it and it's nice and rounded off on the top. So now we're gonna do our crumb coat. So I'm just gonna take a small offset spatula and we're gonna apply a nice even layer all over our cake. And then I'm going to smooth it out using a small plastic bench scraper. All right, that looks really good. Now we're gonna pop this in the fridge to chill and let it firm up really well, so probably a good 45 minutes to an hour. And next we're gonna start working on coloring some fondant so when our cake is ready, we can get it covered up. 
So for this cake, I'm going to be using about two pounds of ready-made Wilton fondant. And this is my go-to fondant. I use it all the time. I think it's great. And you can find the link to this in the description box below if you're interested in trying it out. So we're going to be coloring this a nice dark gray. And I'm just going to be using about a drop, maybe two at a, at a time of Americolor Super Black to achieve the color that I'm going for. There, that looks dark enough. So now it's time to get our cake covered up. So I'm gonna roll out my fondant and I'm gonna leave it slightly thicker than I normally would. Because when I put it on the cake, we're gonna be doing a little bit of embossing on the front. So I'm gonna roll this out, get my cake covered up, and when we come back, we can start working on some of our decorations. Alright, I think that looks really good. So now it's time to decide where we want our decorations to go. So we're going to find the true front of our cake, which is the side with a bit of a lean to it here. That looks pretty good. And we're going to take this stencil of the Mandalorian mask front that I've created and we're going to lay it right on the front of our cake and mark off where we want everything to be. All right, so I finished marking off where I want everything to go. And as you can see, I've already slightly embossed the front left side of the helmet. Now we're gonna do this side, but this part doesn't have to be perfect. I know that doesn't look super attractive, but we're gonna be covering this with another piece of fondant. And I'm hoping that this is just gonna help it look a little bit more concave because it's really sunk in in the front of the mask. So I'm gonna use my balling tool and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this part. And we're just gonna push this all in keep pushing it in until it sinks in a little bit and you may have to push down a little bit hard and some of your buttercream may even escape from the bottom and you may even have to trip a little bit of fondant off the bottom as well that gets pushed out but that's completely fine that's going to be covered up anyway so we're just going to stay at this until we're happy with how it looks and then we're gonna start working on our decorations. So to make our Mandalorian helmet look more realistic, there are five fondant pieces we need to make, and I've drawn up some stencils to help me make them. So the first one we're gonna do is going to be the one for the front of the face. Then we have one for the back of the head, two for the sides, and then one for the strip that goes across the top of the head. And I'm just gonna be using some fondant tools to do the job. And here I have a couple of balling tools, I have a veining tool, and I also have this handy one I absolutely love. It's got a point on one end and then a flat end on the other. It's really, really handy. So I'm just gonna roll out some fondant and we're gonna get to work. So I finished with my decorations and I'm not gonna lie, they were a little bit of a challenge, especially the front of the helmet. That one was particularly troublesome. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks and hopefully it's gonna look really good on the cake. So we're gonna go grab that right now. We're gonna get all of our decorations on and then I have a few finishing touches to see if we can't bring this cake to life.
Well guys, we are basically done and I think it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out so far and I hope you guys like it too. Big thumbs up if you do. Now we can leave it just like this. I think it looks great, but I want to be a little extra and go one step further and add some texture. So we're going to take a little bit of edible silver paint and a big fluffy brush and we are going to paint all over our cake, making it shine. Well guys, here he is, this is the way. You make a Mandalorian cake. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy this cake as much as I enjoyed making it for you. It was definitely a bit of a challenge and the silver paint was a little bit hard to use, but overall I am super happy with the results and I think he looks really, really cool. Well, that's it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up if you're as excited as I am for more Baby Yoda and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you guys haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, so you receive notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.